How you doing, guys? Welcome back. This is video two of the series. Okay, so this is, we're gonna do be doing part two now. Uh, it should be fine. But this is video part two. Okay, perfect. So what we're gonna be doing here is creating some VLANs. Okay, so we're gonna have some fun creating hockey VLAN because I'm a big sports guy. Hockey and bowling is probably my favorite sports. If you follow me on social media, I'm a New York Rangers fan, and if you've seen the interview with me and Keith Barker from CBT Nuggets, you can tell I'm a bowling fan. Um, I've been bowling for a very, very long time, but I don't want to go off on a tangent with that because I'll talk for hours. I love bowling. Probably love bowling more than IT, <laughs> but don't tell anyone. Okay, cool deal. So, but I love everything. Everything I do, I put my 100% passion into it. Okay, all right, enough with that. So let's configure some VLANs, all right? Cool deal. So let's go ahead we're going to be setting up, let's do this, so we, it's pretty much the same thing on both switches. Well, let's type enter. If you followed along with everything what we did, obviously um, this is Cisco, right? Remember from video one, enable Cisco. Whoop, I fat fingered that. Perfect. Cool. So now if we do show VLAN brief, this is the, sh the showing the VLANs that are currently in your in your VLAN database. Okay, let's just move this so we can see it better. Okay, now we have zero, zilch. If we do show VLAN without the brief, we can see we can see a little more, you know, spanning tree. We don't have any anything really going on because they show spanning tree. Um, we don't really, we have VLAN 1, but obviously we're going to be change, changing this up because VLAN 1 is not best practice to have that. Okay, cool. So let's get configuring. So we're going to go into configure. All right, terminal, you hit the tab that auto completes. Okay, so now let's type in VLAN 10, right? And we're going to name this, you know it, hockey. That's VLAN 10, okay? So now we're going to go into VLAN 20, and this is switch one, so we're going to put, okay? Um, then we're going to name this bowling. Okay, and then we're going to make one more, VLAN 199. And we're going to name this management. Okay, cool. So now let's end this and let's WR to write the config to the, uh, to the switch. So if we do show VLAN brief now, whoops, I always put the, now you can see we, we, we added these three VLANs, but everything's still in VLAN one. So let's see what's our objective. So when we're creating, VLANs and assigning switch ports, okay? So, what we're going to do here on switch 1, we're going to associate PC1 with, so, you know what, let's uh, make here, we'll make Ryan, because that's a good friend of mine. He's going to be in, he's going to be in VLAN 10, okay? We're going to make Ryan a part of VLAN 10. And we'll make uh, little B. He's another good friend of mine. He's going to be in VLAN 20 because he loves bowling, not he hates sports. All right, so we have little B in VLAN 20, and then we have my PC that's down here. My laptop is going to be in VLAN 199 because I'm going to be managing the VLAN. Uh, I mean the switch through my VLAN, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, so actually what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna put my, um, my, my, v, my uh, laptop, excuse me, on port 24 to manage it, okay? So from here, I'm gonna go on port 24, okay? And I want to associate VLAN 199, and I want to assign an IP address to that, okay? And we're going to make that management IP address 192.168.199.2 with a 24-bit mask. All right? Awesome. So let's get started. So now if we come here, I think I was just testing some stuff. Let's, uh, I think I assigned the IP address already. 192.168.100.99. Perfect. Okay, so now let's go back to the switch. 
we can we can start configuring this bad boy. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So now we see something was plugged into port uh, 24, which was my laptop. So if we do show interface status, this is another command that's pretty useful. We can see the interfaces that are connected and what um, which aren't connected. So there's nothing in these in these ports. We see the VLAN assignment. Everything is in VLAN one, which that's going to be changing right about now. Okay. So let's go into configure terminal. We're going to go into interface. Um, fast Ethernet zero slash two. Okay, and I believe that is Ryan, right? That's Ryan. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do switch port mode access. What? Oh my God. Access, and then we do switch port access VLAN ten. Okay. Perfect. So now if we do actually. Let's just finish assigning them. So we do interface FA03 um, because now we have to take care of little b. Okay, uh, 03. Now we're in there. We could do the same thing, but we're going to do associate that with VLAN 20 now, right? And then we're going to do switch port mode access. Okay. So now if we do end, we'll take care of the, the management one in a second. Show VLAN brief now. We can see that these two are associated with, with, its, um, with its appropriate uh, VLANs. Okay, so now let's take care of 199 and we have to assign an IP address to that. Okay, because that's going to be the management. So, all right, before we do that, let's go into my machine, right? And we're going to open this up and let's ping dot two. Okay. It's not going to work. The reason being is because there is no IP address assigned to the switch as of yet. Okay. So cool deal. You see the timeout. I'll let it do its thing for a second, but it's not going to work. Okay. Cool. Next I sat it out. Let's go back into the switch. And now let's get, whoop, uh, let's get cracking on this. So, so I'm going to do in interface and now if we do question mark right before we were doing interface fast ethernet you know the interface of the ethernet to assign switch port mode access and switch port access mode uh, switch port mode access and then switch port access vlan you know 10 and 20 right so now we see uh, vlan here so now we're going to do vlan and then we're going to do the number so it's 199 now you're going to see it just came up, right? So now if we do, I want to do something really quick so you can see, show IP interface brief, okay? So now this is a virtual interface, okay? Now we have VLAN 199 here and there's nothing assigned, no IP address. The protocol is up because we just brought it up, but the, excuse me, the status is up or the protocol is down, okay? So now what we're going to do is do an IP address 192.168.199. I think we said two. Let me go back. Documentation. Yes, dot two. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to do 255.255.255. Oh my God. 255.0. Perfect. Okay. And then we can do no shut. Okay, so now we have that uh, assigned to it. So now let's X out of here and let's do a write to memory. Show VLAN brief. We have 199. We have it up, but we have no ports assigned to it. So still, if I go into here, we do have an IP address. Let's go back to my switch. If we do show IP interface brief, we can see that it's up, but the protocol is down because there's nothing assigned to it. Okay. And there's no activity that's going on. So now what we're going to have to do is associate this PC with the appropriate VLAN so we can manage. Okay, let's go ahead and get that working. Config T. And then we're going to go into interface for fast Ethernet 
0 slash 24. Okay. And then we do switch port mode access. And then switch port access VLAN 199. Now we see the state is up. Perfecto. Now let's do WR to write the memory. Now let's go ahead and see if we can ping this bad boy. Okay. Now we, you know, give it give it a second. It's an ARP and do all its fanciness. And now we should be able to ping it because now it's associated with the correct information, I hope. Unless I'm just being impatient. Uh, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on. Okay, perfect. I like when things don't work sometimes, so then we can learn together. Okay, show interface. I show interface status. Twenty-four this is connected to one ninety-nine. Perfect. Show IP interface brief. Oops. Okay, now everything is up. Unless I was just being impatient. Show spanning tree. 199. Okay, it's forwarding now. Maybe I was just being impatient. It looks all good. Let's see. Let's see now. Yeah, okay. I was just being impatient. Sorry, guys. I'm very impatient. All right, cool deal. So now that's working. Now we can manage it remotely so now we don't have to be plugged into the switch. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just assign, actually this side, we're just gonna assign the two in, uh, the two VLANs and then the next video we'll do trunking and doing all that stuff. So maybe this is pretty much part two and part three that we're doing here. Um, so let's go ahead and get cracking over here. Okay, Cisco, enable, Cisco. So now we'll do this one a little faster too. We don't really have to show it because I'll uh, just do it now. Show VLAN brief. We don't have anything. So config T. VLAN 10. Name is hockey. And then VLAN 20. Name bowling okay perfect and then we want to associate let's just end this save it show vlan brief so now we can see these two are associated in the vlan database okay perfect so now let's go ahead and associate um, over here we're gonna have let's have who else is a good friend uh, who can get lucky um, John, okay, John can be over here in VLAN 10, okay, stick John over here, and then we'll do Brian over here, and then we'll put him in VLAN 20, okay, cool deal, perfect, so now we'll associate John with PC3, and he's going to be on uh, the hockey VLAN, and of course he, he likes hockey, Brian doesn't like hockey. Okay, cool, so let's go ahead and go back. All right, so now let's go ahead and configure terminal, interface fast ethernet zero slash two, and this is for VLAN 10, perfect. So we can do switch port mode access, and then switch port Access VLAN 10. Okay, because that's what John's going to be associated with. And we can actually put a description on here. Um, and it wasn't really uh, um, going to do this, but let's see. For example, we can put John port. Okay, so we can see that in the running config. Okay, so I think that is it for that. Let's go ahead and end. Show run. Now we can see here the descriptions. So now if we just do show interface status, we can see this is associated now with VLAN 10.
but now Brian is still associated with VLAN 1, right? So we have to take him out of there and put him in VLAN 20. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and do that. The same process, config T, interface fat, fast, fast Ethernet 0 slash 3. Okay, and then we'll do switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 20 and then we'll do a description BRIAN dash um, PC okay perfect let's write that show VLAN brief now we can see that these are associated with its correct ports and VLANs. Show. So if we do show interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 switch port. Okay. So now we can see everything that's associated with this interface. It's a switch port, it's an access, um, it's an access port, it's not a trunk. So um, maybe I'm just going a little beyond what I should be doing for this, but now what I can do is do show running config. Whoops, show running config. And now we can look at, um, maybe I, I put a port and PC, it doesn't really matter, but that's the dis description in the running config so we can identify who's on that port. Okay, and yes, we can do that on the other switch for Ryan and and um, oh, little b. Okay, so config t interface interface fast ethernet uh, 0 slash 2 description and this is Ryan and put pc. Okay, and then interface 3 description little little b pc okay now if we okay so now if we see in the description now everyone has it's more des um, descriptive and then we can even do that on on port 24 for management okay let's do that really quick Okay. Huh. Um, begin. Okay, cool. So everything here is on the management port, okay? And the pipe, just so you can grep, you can pretty much uh, remember, this is a simulator, so some some of the the commands won't work. Like if you used to like show run, for example, show run interface. I don't know, gig, you know, zero slash one. It, it doesn't it doesn't emulate. It just simulates. So um, that's what we have to deal with in Packet Tracer. Okay, cool. So that's pretty much that. Now both of our switches are configured to our liking and then the next one so I guess it's going to be maybe three three parts and maybe the fourth one I'll I'll do like a closing video or something but that's pretty much it so now both of our switches are configured we have my you know my King Kong machine that I can manage and once all the ports are configured and trunking so I can manage from here go across here and manage the two network as well but um, that's it for now Okay, so hopefully this has been informative for you guys and I thank you for viewing.